It took 14 years for the memorial to be completed, but only about six and a half of those years were actually spent carving. Often, carving came to a standstill when funding was exhausted. Work on the memorial preceded rain or shine. Worker Emmett Osmond recalled about Washington. Anytime it rained, nine of us men could hide underneath his nose to stay dry. Sometimes winter conditions were favorable and ideal for carving. Warm sunlight reflected off the granite and helped to offset winter temperatures. But for every nice day, there were days equally unfavorable. Still, the workers powered through on all but the most impossible days when weather dictated that no work could be completed. Today, the grounds are open all year round. The presidential trail is often closed due to snow and ice, and the sculpture studio remains closed as well. But all other visitor facilities, such as the information center, visitor center, cafe, and gift shop remain open, with the exception of December 25th. Mount Rushmore receives higher visitation during the summer peak season. In contrast, winter is much quieter. Visitors are often treated to snowy vistas of the memorial and the Black Hills. You may even be lucky enough to spot Rocky Mountain goats licking salt off cars or pawing through snow to get food. No matter when you choose to visit, Mount Rushmore offers something for everyone.